Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Cara. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Chase. And we're from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Virginia. We're here today to take you through a practice to explore this idea of edge and edge in yoga. What is edge? Edge is sensation. And today we're going to have a slow exploration and observation of sensation in the body. Take it away, Mr. Chase. All right. Let's loosen up a little bit. So if you're sitting down, go ahead and stand up. So just go ahead and move slowly in any direction that you want to move. You can bend over, you can reach up to the sky. Just keep your body moving. Make all your movements nice and fluid. Move your arms in any direction that you choose. Move your legs, move your hips, move your head. Anything that feels comfortable, just keep your body moving. Try to loosen up all those joints, especially if it's in the morning. So you can reach up to the sky, you can do arm circles, you can reach down, you can reach to the side, you can turn around as you're moving your arms. Anything you choose, just keep your body moving. Alright, do one more movement. And let's come to mountain pose. We're gonna take a big deep breath in. And exhale. And for this, you can either close your eyes or find a spot on the floor to look at. And just take a moment and notice your breath. Notice how it feels when you inhale and when you exhale. Now, notice the sensations in your body. Where do you feel that? How does it feel? Think about that. Now think about your emotions. seat on your mat. So when we do an exploration of edge, we might find edge show up in our bra in our breath, in our body, or in our in our emotions. So as I take you through three different poses today, I'm gonna coach you to notice your breath, your body, and emotions, and you might find that the sensation changes or your breath changes, or the way that you feel changes, depending on the shape you're in, how long you hold the shape, um, how tightly you're in the shape. So have a seat. Well, you're already seated, because Mr. Chase told you to sit. Let's sit cross-legged. Sit nice and tall. And the first, the first thing we're gonna do today is a twist. So you're gonna take one hand and cross it over to the opposite knee. And the other hand comes behind you, kind of like a second spine or a kickstand. Kick Get nice and tall as you take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to turn your belly button and your heart to the side. And you're just coming to the beginning of sensation or the beginning of edge. Edge is that place where it starts to feel just right. Like it's the just right amount of stretch. So just hang out there for a few cycles of breath in that just right place. Noticing your sensations in your body and your breath. And the longer you hold it, you might find that sensations start to move or change. You might find that your body says, oh, you could go a little bit deeper and still be comfortable. Or it might say you need to ease up or hang out right here for another couple breaths. 
So whatever your body is saying right now, you can respond to that. Go a little deeper if that feels right. Ease up if that feels right or hang out right there. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly release, coming back to center, placing your hands on both knees. Notice the sensation on both sides of your body. One side might feel a little more intense than the other. And as you're ready, cross that hand, the other hand over to the opposite knee, hand behind you, breathe in, lengthen your spine, exhale, turn your belly button and your heart to the side, Again, stopping at what you would call the beginning of edge, that place where it feels like it's starting to feel just right, like a good stretch, but it's not painful. You kind of have to maybe pay extra attention to be there, but any less sensation wouldn't feel like much of anything. So notice and observe your sensations as they move in your body or as they change in your body. Breathe in. And with the next exhalation, slowly come back to center. Place your hands on your knees, close your eyes or look down and take a moment to just observe sensation. Notice the way you're breathing, if your breath is smooth or if it gets stuck someplace. And notice your emotions. And then extend your legs out in front of you up nice and tall with your shoulders right over your hips. Take a breath in and as you exhale you're going to start to walk your hands down either side of your legs. Make sure your feet are flexed, you're pushing your heels away and your back is straight. So like you're leading with your heart here. You're just slowly walking your fingers to pull your body down and you're going to pause at that point that feels just right. And your neck can be in line with your spine, so you're kind of looking toward your toes, but don't drop your chin to your chest. You just want to keep that whole spine nice and long. If the sensation starts to go away, or it's not as much as you would like, you can walk your fingers down a little bit further and deepen your fold, deepen that pose to a place that feels like you can really watch the sensations moving and changing and rising and falling in your body. Notice if your breath starts to change. When I say Yoga is not about the way the pose looks, but a way about how it feels in your body. This is kind of what I'm talking about. You want to make sure that every stretch feels right in your body. With your next breath in, start to walk your hands back towards your hips, sitting nice and tall. And just take a moment to close your eyes or look down and again, just notice. Notice all there is to notice here. Make your way into butterfly pose now. You're going to bend both of your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. And now for some people, they might like to have the feet really close to the body. Other people like to have their feet further away. There's no right or wrong about it, so find what's right for you. That's the first exploration of edge in this pose. You get to choose based on what's happening in your body right now, whether you want your feet close or farther away. And then you're just gonna hold on to your ankles or your feet and sit up nice and tall. You can kind of make sure everything feels 
pretty secure in your seat. I always have to kind of shift around to, to feel grounded in this position. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, start to fold forward just a little bit. Again, leading with your heart. So we're not rounding or hunching over. We're keeping the spine long and bringing the heart toward the feet. Notice all the places in your body where you can feel this. And if one of the places feels really strongly, and it's like, whoa, I don't like how this feels, then ease up. But if all the places you feel it, like where you are, stay there. And if all of the places say, you can fold a little deeper, then you can go ahead and do that. Find that amount of such sensation that feels just right. And your neck's in line with your spine and you're just kind of looking out forward. Notice if your breath has stayed even. Notice if there's an ease in your breath and in your body. not about changing anything or fixing anything. You're just noticing all that's happening inside of you right now. Being with edge. Take a big breath in and a slow breath out as you rise up. And then just cross your ankles and come to cross-legged. Hands on your knees, looking down or closing your eyes. Just take a moment to reflect and notice what it's like to notice your breath and your body and your emotions in this way, in this slow observation. And recognize that experience of edge. ask yourself, how do you want to be with the day that's before you? Do you want to be with it slow and steady and observe? Do you want to fly through it? Do you want to pay extra attention to anything in particular? How do you want to relate to your day? So set that plan or that intention for yourself. And with that, we say see you later. We hope that you carry with you the experiences of this yoga practice forward into your day. So, see you next time. Explore your edge.